Hey, y'all. What's going on? I'm, I'm ahead of y'all, okay? I kind of prepped up things before I got hit that live button. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, y'all hear that spoon? Y'all hear that spoon? See, that's why I want... I can't wait till I can go live. So, I can be asking y'all a little stuff like that. But the question would have been, since y'all hear the spoon moving... Constantly, what do y'all think I'm doing with that spoon? If y'all been watching, whoever been watching long enough, y'all should know. When you're constantly hearing the pot stir, or you hear the spoon moving, y'all should know what I'm doing. Y'all should know one ingredient to the food. And so, I'm going to give y'all right ahead and give y'all a peep of why I'm stirring the pot so much. Listen, today we're going to have crawfish and shrimp. Potato stew. So, we're going to have crawfish, shrimp, potato stew, okay? And in order to have that, to make that meal a success, you're going to need one main component. And I think you guys know what that is. And for those of y'all who never watched any of my life, maybe you don't know, of course you don't. But for those of you who support me, that main component is Bam! Y'all know what it is. It's that root. It's that root, y'all. And we've already figured out. We've already figured out what it is to make a root. And for those of y'all who don't, it is simply some olive oil and your flour. And you just stir until it's brown to your color. All right. So that is all the root is. Some olive oil or coconut oil. And you just stir to the color in which you want your gravy to be. That's all it is. All right. So mine's finished, y'all. Mine's finished, baby. So, and I already had my water boiling. Okay. This meal is all about the root cooking because the ingredients that I'm using, which is the shrimp and the crawfish, we know that those two components, along with the potatoes, don't take no more than 15 minutes to cook. So, you basically got to wait till your root just cook down. And then you drop all those three components in there in about 15, 20 minutes at the most. After that's uh after that's been in there, then you go ahead on and drop your crawfish and your shrimp and your potatoes. So here, look at here, y'all. Let me show y'all what else we got going on. We got you got the red bell peppers, you got the onion, you have the celery, you have the Y'all already know Mama Wanda gonna have that garlic. Oh yeah, got that garlic. Ain't got a stick of butter right there to drop on in that pot with it. So what I gotta do now, see, the water's already boiling. You know, getting there anyway. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the potatoes. I'm gonna push this on back over here. All right, and we're gonna go it on and peel these potatoes. I, again, y'all, for some other potatoes, these yellow potatoes are top of the line, all right? These are the best potatoes to use for some other potatoes. Back in the days, our parents would use those orange potatoes, you know, fit on out the garden, which are good, too. They brown good. They really brown good. But these, on the other hand, for those of you who don't like to stir it too long, don't have the patience from the brown. These yellow ones are good. 
I choose to use them because they cook quicker. Not because I'm lazy at stirring the pot, because I, my wanda got this. So I'm going to go on and peel the potatoes. And that water is boiling. And like I said, basically, you just want that root to go it on and cook itself up. And here's a down salt ingredient that you use for whenever you're boiling something. You know how we do the broad crawfish, the broad neck bones, pig feet, turkey necks, all that shit. Whenever you're using, cooking a meal like this here, you want to drop just a little, half a cap, all cap, at the most. That's it. That's all you need. So, I'm going to peel these potatoes and drop them right on up in that pot. But in the mean in between time, I'm going to uh, just chit chat on this damn thing while I'm peeling these damn potatoes. I know it's been a uh, it's been a lot going on in them YouTube streets. It's been a lot going on in them. I'm not tuning too much into them like I used to. I mean, you know, I'll still be in the bushes on some people pages. And, Are you okay? and I also be on some people pages where I, I could pass my comments and don't have to argue with the ignorance. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I've been doing and enjoying my, uh, them babies as usual. Y'all know that already. Preparing myself for this oldest one, uh, ring ceremony and graduation and prom and all this other stuff going on. I did make a GoFundMe, uh, for my granddaughter, y'all. I just don't know how the hell to share it on YouTube. So I asked uh, a few people that I trust that would help me out with uh, sharing it or posting it. And hopefully they've done that. I've asked uh, Madiva. That's another friend of mine who's not a channel holder, but she's on YouTube. Uh, uh, who else did I ask? I think I sent it to... I don't know if I sent it to Clyde Diva, if I sent it to... I sent it to a few people. I may have sent it to uh, Diva Tom Boyish. This knife ain't worth the shit. After I get this food put on and everything, yo, I gotta go do some old school pressing hair. I gotta go press some hair. Cause them children return back to school on tomorrow. Mardi Gras season is over with. So, back to school they go. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this is the month that all my procedures are scheduled. I have one on tomorrow that I know I'm going to return home from. But uh, I ain't too, too, too certain about the one that's going to be after that one. So we're going to hope that everything's going to be all right. And then, uh, what else I want to see? Shit. Uh, this little knife here is sharp, but it's goddamn. Hurting a little bit, but yeah, yo. I see your boy need your boy cutting up again huh, with his little, his explicit goddamn shoes, him and all uh, velvet. As far as joy is concerned, I uh, I get it with her too, you know. I pray that uh, Nubian would click into the mind that he needs to know that will lead him to going back to his fucking family. Because Nature Boy full of shit with all of that uh, foolishness. As long as he got velvet there, 
And that little girl, Eliana, that he only want to be bothered with from time to time. To be truthfully honest. Because honestly, I don't think he would give a damn if that little girl was there or not. I'm just telling you what I feel. But he got his goddamn be with that. And with the one he love. And Nubian dumbass. He gonna allow this nigga to keep him from his motherfucking family. Oh, but when they ass start growing. When they start growing up. I mean growing up. And using their fucking mind and look back. And see how of a jackass they was. With leaving their children. I pity the fool, me. Pity the fucking fool. That's sad. I mean, I, it really bothers me to know that that little boy, I mean, that little girl gonna grow up without our daddy because he too stupid to know to make his own motherfucking decision. You either getting dick up your ass and it's feeling that motherfucking good to where it's at, making you have an orgasm to the point where you don't want to leave this nigga because ain't no fucking way a nigga gonna just tell me about no, I love myself, and sometimes you have to detach yourself because the churn is just temporarily here uh, to, you know, for you to see to and all this other dumb ass shit. And I'm going to let that keep me from my fucking baby? Oh, no. Oh, no, nigga. Mm-mm. Something ain't right. Are you? Poor thing, you. You in the other fucking room probably crying all in your sleep. Because you done held this nigga down to the fullest. And any and in, 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 every time Velvet won't bring her ass back, you straight up out the picture. You straight up out the picture. And I think I seen one video where she was, I think it was Horn. Either Horn trying talking or it was her by herself. One of the two. And I could see all in that girl's face that she really want to get the fuck on. She really do. But it might be a situation where she just don't have nowhere to go. Or, you know, have no support back at home. And she feel like she done fucked up so much with the little boy, her little boy, to maybe nobody want to help her. You know, I don't know what's her fucking situation, but I can tell... From time to time, where she, you could just pretty much see that she's she's lonely for her son. I wouldn't give a damn what kind of trickery programming you have in your mind. You gonna think about what the fuck you done buried on this earth. I don't give a damn. You spit that baby out your ass? Oh yeah, you gonna think about that fucking baby. You can, you can be a crackhead. A motherfucker totally disconnected from... Everything going on in the world, that baby come out your ass. So you got to think about that baby from time to time. You know what I'm saying? And Sheba, Sheba, Sheba all the way gone. She 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 just gone. She just gone. And she and, and from the from previous uh, videos and stuff that I've seen, she got support. She one that got a family that would support her. But that motherfucker, I don't know what happened to her. She, she just, but she got our fucking baby though. <laughs> she got our baby. She ain't leaving that baby though. Are you? I mean, seriously, that girl there. There's some serious mental problems with 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 Aya that she can't come to terms with. You know? Did your boy so fucking low down. Lord, have mercy. That boy so low down. That boy so... So destroyed till... Ain't no fucking returning. Ain't no returning. And he trying to... Not trying to, but he don't give a damn about nobody else. And he fucking feelings when it come down to churn and... What they ain't got and... What loved ones ain't there for him. For him. He could care less. He can care less. And we all know that. And 
velvet. You done broke. You done. You done fucking. You just done broke the bridge. Every bridge that done cross our ass over. She better not never. She better hope nothing never happened to that nigga, ever. I don't know where the fuck she gonna go crawl and hide. But then again, I guess as a parent, you know, no matter what shit you churn go through, you, you still manage to be that form. But I'll tell you one fucking thing. She'll have a lot to prove in order to get my support. Parent or new parent. All that back and forth. And see that little girl, Eliana? See that little baby? That little motherfucker, every bit of her paw. You, I bet half of them over there be want pop on her ass so bad. Because all you hear when they be doing them live, you hear hollering and, and, and making noise. And you know she having no fucking way. I know if it was me, oh baby, I'd be done grab her ass and pop the shit out of her. Yeah, pop her ass good. Because she going to get away, oh, she going to get away with bloody murder. If she were baby, when they grow up, if they grow up over there in that old motherfucking village, wherever they're going to be at in the jungle, wherever the fuck they're going to be. If them little children grow up together with, with Eliana ass on the scene, all them little children going to have to treat her like a royal fucking child. If they're playing with toys and, and she have her own little toy and going to go take all them other little children toys, they're going to holler and tell them to give it to her. But they're going to have one little smart kid going to be there. Going to fix her little fucking ass. And they're going to be willing to take the consequences. They either going to pinch her ass or do something to her. But oh yeah, she going to be a smart ass little something there. That's the kind I like to be to watch. Because I'll be ready to tell the ass me. You going to share, God damn it. I don't give a damn who you is. You could be the poor fucking child. If you in my presence, your ass gonna share and share like God damn it. If you got a problem with it, I'll whip your ass. I will whip your ass. So I got the potatoes all cleaned up, y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying. It's just a sad situation. So fucking sad. Tell I don't know what to tell him. Mama Wanda don't know what to tell him. Hmm. All I know is they better get their motherfucking mind right. Get your mind right, who? Get your mind right, who? Boy, these potatoes off them, who y'all? Let that dirty water get off them. And let them just sit in some little clean water. Because like I say, this, these potatoes don't go in that pot until... 15, 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes before the shit is done. That's when the potatoes go in the pot. So, got the potatoes right here. Let me get this, uh, got the seeds in sitting there, waiting nice and patiently. Got the root over here, sitting there. Uh-huh. See, it's like a chocolate brown. You have different color roots for different foods. You understand? Now, once that water hit this root, watch how pretty of a color it's going to be. So, I got everything sitting right there. The crawfish and the shrimp, potato season, the root, and the water is burning. Now, let me clean this shit up right quick. Clean this right here right quick. Get these potato peelings out here. And then I got to start pressing that little girl here. But I got to wait until this damn food finish. Y'all know they got all the pressing comb now. They got it now, electrical kind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pressing on here. Let me show y'all. You got 
hit in the back. If my signs or something bothering me, fuck. I went right to the store and they ain't got no sign of damn pill. Fucking signs will make you feel like you're dying. But yeah, y'all. That's uh that's what mama got going on. As far as cooking is concerned. The kids are back. Mm-hmm. I had some silence pills in here. But I think them turning the yard and took shit. I can't stand no fucking hitty. Lord, I can't stand no hitty. Let me go look at this damn. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Go look at this fucking cabinet back here and see if I can find me a, a, a headache pill. Yara, you ain't got, got no sinus pill at. Huh? Let's see this look like I'm punching off these. Ain't nobody but somebody who depressed sleep all fucking day. I ain't never seen nobody young sleep all day like that. And I can't eat after 12 o'clock today, so I better hurry and get something in my damn stomach. But where in the fuck is a silence pill? A Gerald Tall and all this other shit. <laughs> 